Hello and welcome back to module 9 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. This is unit 2 of website settings, information. We are still in the website settings module on the dashboard and in this unit we'll be looking at how you can edit the targeted user content contained in the information block. We begin back on our journal homepage. If you recall in unit one of this module, one of the settings we've manipulated was the content of the sidebar. The content block currently at the top of our sidebar is called information block, and it contains pages of targeted information for readers, authors, and librarians. In this unit, we're going to go over how to customize the information on these pages. In the top right corner, access your dashboard. Let's go to the website settings in the left navigation menu. Now let's click on the setup tab. The first subsection in this tab is information. Editing this section is very straightforward. You can find the section audience in the header of each box. The rich text editing boxes are pre-populated with a default message aimed at the common needs of that audience but you're welcome to customize this text or even replace it entirely if that works best for your journal. The For Readers section discusses how readers can create registered accounts and some of the benefits of doing so. You'll want to edit this text if your journal requires reader accounts or subscriptions to access your content. If you are going to hyperlink from this page, to content elsewhere, make sure you test the links. The For Authors section contains broad information about submitting to the journal. The default is fairly short, redirecting authors to the author guidelines and relevant content we've already input on two other different pages of the website. You can include more detailed information if you'd prefer to. Just remember, to update any duplicated information on this page if you make changes to this content elsewhere on your website in the future. The For Librarians section contains information about how librarians can include your journal in their catalogs and holdings. This is also a great place to include information and contacts for institutional subscriptions if the journal requires them. When you're happy with your content, click on Save. Your changes will go live on your website immediately. These pages can be edited or updated at any time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next unit.